Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In the last part, we broke our way into Helena Prison. And in this part, let's take this route real quick. We're going to chuck around a little. That chest has already been looted. We've been here before, so... Obviously, any looted treasures is... Well, you know. So let's just keep searching around just a little bit. Who is it? Yeah, it's me, Dart. Remember? I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, excuse my French, by the way. Let me just say this really quick. Enemies are not easy on the Gust of Wind Dance. I've failed that, like, three times in that battle. Well, actually, only twice, because I only got to use Labbits only for three turns. And then Shauna took a heavy beating, so... Things aren't looking up for us. This would be a proper place to grind, though. Now then, it's high time that we explored every possible nook and cranny, because we were allowed to. Rather than last time, where we weren't. Because see, this lift is not out of order. Hang on. <coughs> so now, we can loot the place. We'll get off here. This will lead to here. Might as well take the jump. This leads us up here, where we can get a chest with a felt hat. A very useless item, considering we couldn't even get to it. Because, I mean, honestly, what's that going to do, a felt hat? Nothing. Just going to decrease our defense, and that's the last thing we need. However, probably what's more important is that we can get across to another area. Actually. Ah, I figured we could have gotten access to this early. Or could we? Oh no, this just leads to another item. Which is... the therapy ring. Now what does that do exactly? Honestly, whenever I got these items, I just kinda, you know, sold them. Recovers each HP each turn. Huh. Sounds like a good strategy to use if the character has plenty of defense, and taking away the night shield wouldn't be such a big deal. I honestly want to know how much, but I bet it's something like 10% or something. So, not a whole lot, in other words. But, either way, let's get out of here and just keep exploring. But, I mean, other than this, there's a lot more than just, you know, the standard prison, prison we've been, which, by the way, we will have to visit again. Okay, I will take that in a bit. But I want to see what's over here. Okay, since we were down here, and notice that there's a lot of wind blowing here, which means this connects to the outside somehow. I'm just very doubtful that you could get in here unless you could fly. Okay. Ah. I figured as much. This item is... The Silver Embroidered Vest! Wh I... Uh-huh. Um, I'm betting that's something for Shauna or something. Okay, the Silver Vest increases defense by a considerable amount. Not a considerable. All things considered, it actually... Huh. Still increase it. And it increases attack avoidance. Pretty sure if I want it. Yep, Rose could equip it too. Problem is, she doesn't really need it. Should I want to make a comparison with, uh, let's see, 60, 34, 22, 57. Okay, so Hashel is the equivalent of Rose if we had him in the party currently. While Dart is actually the weakest character. Now we'll just, let's just keep going down. Ah, uh, okay. That lift came down, too. I would go in that door as well. Actually, no, it didn't. It's still up there! Well, shucks. Okay, this leads to a chest. Pandemonium. Honestly, I've heard of something like that. What the heck is that? Okay, it's not in here. It's obviously an item. Just not one we can see. List. 
Pandemonium, Pandemonium. Pandemonium! Minor enemy only attacks one ally for three turns. Okay. Not that I find that super useful, unless, you know, you had a tank in your party. I should have stayed up there. Because now I think I screwed myself over. I don't know. I'll see about leaving the screen and coming back to see if that'll do anything. Because quite honestly, that's not there anymore, and I doubt it will come back. Unless I can climb that ladder all the way to the top. No, but that leads to a chest. Leather armor, which we already have a pair of, if I'm not mistaken. Silver vest, leather jacket. Actually. Okay. Leather armor's a downgrade. You have disciple vest. And you can't equip the leather armor, surprisingly. Huh. That's odd. Well, I suppose, you know, being a master of the rogue art, it probably would be of the best to probably not so much know how to use that. Or just wearing that. Go upstairs. This will lead all the way to the top. I'm pretty sure we could guarantee that Frugal will be at the end of that little rope bridge. Healing potion, always loved. Nothing up here other than that, so. This is kind of Frugal's quarters. Thankfully he's not here. Otherwise we'd probably get a beating. Going down. Okay, it looks like that thing went back to its original position, so we're good. Let's go up there and see what's in that door. Just checking the time. That battle took a while. I think it took like two minutes. I'm just making a mental note. Okay, what's in here? Alright, what's in this? Can't carry any more items. Shucks. Well then. Lavitz, you get a free heal. What's in this blade chest anyway? A thunderbolt. Okay, so we didn't really need to buy two, because now we have three. So now I'm forced to use one in the next battle. Great. Just great. I honestly don't like using multi-items. If you guys couldn't tell that by now, then honestly, you guys are kind of terrible at reading signs. Go downstairs. So we've already been upstairs, and I don't feel comfortable going all the way across that rope bridge. Primarily because I don't want to skip anything. And going back to the old areas will reward with some grinding, if I could actually speak correctly. Without kind of a weird accent. I, I don't even know what it is. Just keep going. I don't want to be a guy who's getting a whip right now. Just keep going. Come on! Bring it on! Goodness, that battle took just about as long as the last one. I didn't even use a multi-item, which I should be doing, considering I have multi-ones. Like, all attack, anyway. So now, it's all just a matter of getting all the way to the top. A save point, which, yeah, I'll gladly take. If you look at the save screen while you're saving here, you'd almost think that you're kind of all the way back at the beginning of the game. The only way you'll know that you're, you aren't is the amount of Dragoon Spirits you have. You have four, when at the beginning you had zero. Either way... Yikes, this place seems like it got ramped up in patrols. Either way, it's probably highly important that we go ahead and heal up... Well, Dart, mostly. And we will have to go back to that merchant eventually. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'd probably be the same way if somebody was trying to tap on my shoulder saying, Hey, 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 I'm the intruder. Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't see he leveled up in Dragoon. Jeez, that, that caught me off guard. Blossom Storm, new magic. Okay, so Lavitz is a level 2 le Dragoon. That's surprising. I'll be honest here. Typically, I don't get, like, Dragoon level 2 until, like, the next area or so. 
So, getting them now? Honestly, I think I worked out the method. So, I'm hoping I can get Sean at a level, Dragoon level 2 at least. Which, you know, considering that we got a new party member by the name of Hashel, and you, you know that everybody's going to get a Dragoon Spirit. I'm sorry for spoilers, but that's just how it rolls. Everybody gets one. He'll be behind. <laughs> I'll have to grind. But I mean, that's impressive. Not only am I getting better at the Gust of Wind Dance, but I also got Lavis Dragoon level 2. Bastard! I'm not a bastard. What are you talking about? Turning around. I'm going to use a multi-item right up. Well, yeah. The Thunderbolt multi-item right off the bat here, so. I don't get it. It always does this at the beginning of these battles. Like, oh my god, you got busted. It's, it's such a bad thing. Either way, Shauna has the highest magic attack, so the Thunderbolt should do a lot. All enemies, thunder, let's do it. Nope. Yeah. Oh, darn it! <laughs> the timing caught me off guard. Still did quite a bit, considering Shauna doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, oh, also, Dark at 75 SP per attack now. That, That's a lot. Because, I mean, now it doesn't take him long to actually fill up his bar at all. It just takes him, like, three turns, and bam, he's ready. <sighs> Do not like at all. Okay, cutting to the end of the battle. Just when I told you I was getting better at that, too. Whew. I'm still tired from that. And I'm going to need some more healing potions. Oh, well. I'll get them after this guy. Who is it? Jeez, you guys are just... You don't know who I am, do you? I'm Dart. I killed you before. Huh? Wh okay. Shocking. Star children. New magic. To be honest, Shauna usually doesn't get past Dragoon level 1, so... There. I clapped. Now, both Lavitz and Shauna need to heal, so I'm going to go back to that merchant and buy a few items. Because <laughs> I, am, I am all out of healing potions. All I got is that healing breeze, and I want to save that until everybody's yellow health. So honestly, that saves me from using three healing potions. But I mean, right now, I could prob I'd could probably be burning my money if it weren't for the fact that I could grind here. Problem is, guards don't respawn, and that arrow never turns blue or yellow. Doesn't matter how many charm potions you use, it's always going to stay red. Doesn't mean you're in a hostile area. The difference is that, well, there are no random encounters. Yes, I want to buy something. Just come on. Alright. And then sell. Probably never going to use that pandemonium. And then. I don't want to carry this thunderbolts anymore. Quite honestly, I don't ever use multi mat items that much. In fact, I'll get rid of some of these other ones I don't use anymore. Honestly, healing items to me are just a greater asset. And I probably will keep these ones that actually have, like, you know, an opposite. Just for the sake of primarily the ability to screw an opponent over that's elementally weak against one thing. <sighs> I'm still catching my breath after that thunderbolt. Okay. But yeah, so... Now once Hashel gets his Dragoon, we're gonna have to grind him a little. He's behind. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm being honest here. I don't typically get Shauna past Dragoon level 1, so... Huh. Just whatever you do, don't use multi-items. Ever. They sprain your left arm if you're right-handed, which I still don't know how I did that. I still honestly don't know how in the world I did that. And they also tire you out. Either way, I am well past 15 minutes on my timer. So guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And in the next part, we're going to ascend up these guard towers to, well, clear them out of guards. So until then...